Well, we are just hours away from watching San Antonio's own go for the gold. The highly anticipated track and field events continue at 3 a.m. and among them the 100 meter run featuring Fred Curley from the Alamo City. As our Alicia Neavis explains, he joins other Olympians with local connections. When he's not spending time on his Texas ranch, San Antonio native Fred Curley is competing against the world's best sprinters. The 2022 World 100 meter champion punched his ticket to Paris. This year, he'll have two shots at the gold in both the men's 100 meter dash and as a member of the 4x100 meter relay team. Sunday, four-time Olympian and Marshall High School graduate Keith Sanderson will hunt for his first career Olympic Games medal in the world of shooting. The U.S. Army Staff Sergeant will compete in the men's 25-meter rapid-fire pistol. Monday, after securing a spot in his first Olympic Games. I know he's ready for Jamaica, but that's still, he's a part of us. He came from Cibolo. Andrew Hudson will compete in the men's 200-meter event for Jamaica. He obtained a dual citizenship, so his father, who's a Jamaican citizen, could see him run. I hadn't known anything about him, but the kids knew he was fast. Mike Barcenas coached Hudson in track and field at Steele High School. As a freshman, I remember his first track meet came out and, you know, it surprised everybody. And everybody was asking, you know, other school coaches were asking, you know, who's this kid? As a freshman, Hudson made varsity. His talents earned him a full ride to run at Texas Tech University, the first Steele track and field athlete to achieve that and become an All-American. His jersey now hangs in the rafters at his alma mater. I saw him at the local grocery store and I, I ran into him and asked him how he was doing. He said, you know, I'm training, I'm competing, I want to qualify for the Olympics. Coach Barcenas has football players in the NFL. The Dallas Cowboys, the Colts, the Denver Broncos, uh, the Chargers. But Hudson is likely making history as the only Olympian he's ever coached. It's an honor for us to kind of see it and be a part of it. I was texting with Hudson's mother just about half an hour ago. She says he has gone through so much to get here, and she is proud of every decision he has made. She is so proud of him and that he is living his dream. To see the full schedule of these Olympians we just mentioned, visit Kens5.com. Reporting live tonight, Alicia Neavis, Kens5. And we will be cheering them on. Thanks so much, Alicia.